Today on Sugar Spot Run, I'll be showing you how to make blueberry muffins. I have shared this muffin recipe several times with different variations on the blog, and today I want to show you how I make my all-time favorite blueberry muffins. It's really simple, and I have tons of tricks for nice, soft, fluffy muffin tops. Let's go ahead and begin. As with almost all of my muffin recipes, these blueberry muffins use a combination of both canola or vegetable oil and melted butter, rather than just one or the other. By using this blend, we get a lot of great flavor from the butter while still getting the moist, soft texture from the oil. For today's recipe, we are going to start by combining a quarter cup of melted, unsalted butter, as well as a quarter cup of vegetable or canola oil. I usually like to use canola oil for my recipe. We'll stir the butter and the oil together until they're well combined, and then add one cup of granulated sugar, and stir everything together again. This blueberry muffin recipe calls for one egg as well as one egg white. We are going to use this extra egg white because it's going to help make our muffins nice and fluffy. Stir these into your batter, and then add one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. This vanilla is going to help give our muffins a really nice flavor. Next, you will need one half cup of buttermilk. Ideally, this should be at room temperature before you add it to your other wet ingredients. If you don't have buttermilk on hand, you can head over to my video library and I have a really simple buttermilk substitute that you can make by just using whole milk and either vinegar or lemon juice. Add this to your wet ingredients and stir everything together well. With our wet ingredients combined, we can set this aside and prepare our dry ingredients. You'll need 1 and 3 fourths cup of all-purpose flour for this recipe. Add 2 teaspoons of baking powder and a tablespoon of cornstarch and a half teaspoon of salt. Make sure that you stir everything together really well so the dry ingredients are well combined. Alright, with our dry ingredients nicely combined, we're going to bring back our wet batter. Now, one thing that I really want to mention is that with these muffins, it's really important that you don't overmix the dry ingredients and wet ingredients when you combine them. If you do this, you'll end up with dense muffins, and we want soft, springy, and light muffins. So definitely don't overmix them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this flour mixture into my wet ingredients, and I will use my spatula to stir everything together until the flour mixture is about halfway combined into the wet ingredients. Now that about half the flour mixture has been absorbed into the liquid ingredients, we can grab our blueberries. I use one and a half cups of fresh blueberries for this recipe, but frozen blueberries would also work. Just pour these into your batter, and still using a gentle hand, fold everything together until combined. Again, you really do not want to overmix this batter, so stir just until everything has been combined. If there are a few flour lumps left in the mixture, that's actually okay. This looks pretty good. So now I'm going to show you one of my favorite tricks for nice tall muffin tops. What I'm going to do now is I'll take a clean kitchen towel and I'll just drape this over the bowl and I'll let it sit for about 15 minutes to an hour. This is going to let our muffin batter rise just a little bit and then when we bake it in the oven, you're going to get those nice tall muffin tops. Now this step of resting the muffin batter is totally optional. If you want to just portion out the batter and bake it right away, you'll still get really delicious muffins. This is just a nice little tip that I picked up along the years and now I always rest my muffin batter before baking. While your muffin batter is resting, you'll want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and line a 12 count muffin tin with paper liners. Once your blueberry muffin batter has had time to rise, now you can remove the towel and portion this into your prepared muffin tin. I like to use an ice cream scoop to portion my batter and we're going to fill each liner all the way up to the top. Now for a finishing touch, I like to add coarse granulated sugar to the top of each muffin. I sprinkle them pretty generously, and this step is totally optional, but I like the extra sugar coating on top. Now we will bake our blueberry muffins in our 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for 8 minutes. Once that 8 minutes has passed, we are not going to open the oven door and we are not going to remove the muffins, but we are going to drop the oven temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and continue to bake the muffins for about another 12 minutes or until they're finished baking. Starting with a higher temperature like this is going to let our muffins get those nice tall muffin tops and then we decrease the temperature so that the muffins do not overbake or become dry and that they stay nice and soft in the center. Now let these blueberry muffins cool completely in their muffin tins before serving. 
That is how you make my all-time favorite blueberry muffins. These are so soft and fluffy and full of plump, juicy berries, and this recipe has already received rave reviews over on my blog. I think you're going to love it just as much. I really hope you will try this one out, and please let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.